Okay, this is Kevin Paulson. We're with Hunting Life Adventures, and uh, we're here at the 25th Annual Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation Convention. Uh, we're standing here at the Sitka booth, and uh, Sitka's uh, one of our proud sponsors of the podcast for us this week, and uh, we really appreciate their support. Uh, three years ago here at Elk Camp, um, I actually found Sitka gear after having spent a miserable uh, fall guiding uh, in some really poor gear and uh, was on the search for some fantastic gear and stuff that would hold up uh, to be able to be a guide for elk hunting and uh, you know met John and Jason Harrison and Jonathan here and um, so we're going to do a little bit of information here about uh, how Sitka was formed and what separates them from everybody else. So can you tell me a little bit about your company and uh... Sure absolutely. So the same search that you were on was the same search Jason and I were on looking for the right solution uh, for the you know big game hunter. Uh, having backgrounds in the uh, recreational uh, industry, being very familiar with the climbing and what they were doing on that side and recognizing that the technology always lacked way behind what you see in the hunting industry, we wanted to bridge that gap. And that was really the birth of Sitka, creating a, a skin to shell solution that gives hunters the flexibility to spend more time in the field comfortably. Okay. And um... What, uh, what led you to um, find this particular quality of clothing, etc.? I mean, what, what Well, in, truly inspired by companies like Arcteryx or Patagonia on the, on the climbing side, who really focused on the, the technologies from a fabric perspective that really, uh, you know, move moisture away from the skin, allowing you to stay out in the field longer. One of the, I mean, those, it seems like, seems like a pretty basic principle, but really was something that didn't exist uh, in this industry. And so we thought uh, it would, well, it only made sense to build something that we wanted. And we figured that the need was there and other people would, uh, would, would appreciate and uh, appreciate the value that that brought uh, to their experience when they go out hunting. Now your company has changed quite a bit in three years from the time that I first met you. Yeah. How has it changed, and what is what has changed for you in, in being able, you know, being a part of Sitka? Uh, well, the the growth has been unbelievable. Uh, you know, I don't think we ever expected we'd be where we're at in this time frame. We knew there was a place uh, for what we were bringing to market. We didn't know that the need. I think we underestimated the need, and really. It, in the very beginning, uh, had focused on what we thought was a pretty small niche, people in the west who were hiking a lot, uh, climbing mountains. That's what, was what, the, the, what the company was founded on. What we found immediately was that the same, uh, same needs were true coast to coast. And before we knew it, we were selling uh, everywhere from Alaska and the Northwest Territories down to South Africa. Um, the, same, the, the basic principles that uh, were the foundation for everything we built applied to everybody who was out in the field hunting. Fantastic, fantastic. Now how can people find your gear today? Uh, we've got the best ways to go to the website and find a local dealer. Okay. Uh, we've got hundreds of them coast to coast. Uh, we also sell online um, but that's the best way is to go to the website, sickagear.com. Sickagear.com. Fantastic. Thank you very much Jonathan. Really appreciate Absolutely. it. Thank you. Please support our sponsors, Spot Messenger, Benchmaster, Pro Ears, Crossfire, Schneeze of Bozeman, Montana, Sitka Gear, and a special thanks to Al Mead of Sonic Edge Productions. HuntingLife.com, pursue your passions of hunting, conservation, and a well-lived life.